Hey guys, Zach with Blade HQ. We're here at SHOT Show uh, 2018 and we're at the Kaiser booth with David. Hi everyone. And uh, he's going to run us through some awesome stuff that they've got going this year. So what do we got on the table? All right, thank you Zach. Hey everybody. So we're going to go through some of the folders we have, some of the fixed blades we have, and hopefully you'll find your favorite here. All right, so start off, we have ABS Master Smith Michael Vanino's Zip Slip. As the name suggests, this is a slip joint. This is one of our first ventures into the traditional territories of folding knives. You can see titanium with a texture handle, S35 EM blade, with a high carry, a, a deep carry pocket clip. Now, one of the really interesting about the slip slip, other than the fact that it's a slip joint, is that it has the, um, the trademark ever flat back spring. So you okay. see, when you, when you fold up a, a slip joint, the back spring will, will pop right, up. Usually pops up, yeah. So you can see, when I close it, or open it, the back spring is absolutely flat. Awesome, here, let's see if we can get that. So you guys at home can see that as well. This is what he's talking about, is usually, back here you'd get some flex or some movement in the spring, but with this Kaiser, no movement at all. So, that's really neat. That's his trademark on this knife. And as always, we have the titanium for the Bladesmith series, and then we have the orange and black G10 for the Vanguard series. And this is, a, this is an area that I've seen some, uh, a lot of knife companies moving, not a lot, but some knife companies moving is kind of a, they're calling them modern traditionals. Modern so, and I think this is a great addition to that category. These and are great looking One knives. of the additions that is one hand opening. So you can open this one handed. Yeah, I like that. So for places such as, you know, when you go to Germany, you're allowed one hand open or locking, but not both. Okay. So this one, we retain some of the more convenience of the modern blade, right. but we also get the legal requirement so you can carry the anywhere with you That's awesome. legally. And on the heel of our very successful Sheepdog C01C, we're bring it down a, a slight bit and give you a under three inch Sheepdog. Yeah, these are, this is one that I saw when, when we pulled up and this is one that I was really excited about personally. Um, yep. I love the Sheepdog, but this size on this is like, this is gonna have to go in my collection now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. This is again, is in the Vanguard series. So you have the G10 handle with a VG10 blade but retains the same ergonomic handle with the cleaver, powerful cleaver chopping blade. So you can use this for anything your, ch your chore might call for. Yeah, exactly. And uh, another really, uh, something else that I really like about this is the, the accent in the spacer right, the there, I think ring. is really sharp as well. So yeah, just a, just a really great knife all the way around. That's awesome. And that's in the Vanguard series, so yep. that also puts it uh, in a really affordable price range Absolutely. for a lot of people, which is Absolutely. great. You have a black handle and a green handle to choose from. Awesome. I'll be getting the green handle. <laughs> <laughs> Moving up. Uh, Elijah Isham's Simple Series. Now, uh, Elijah's design always follow a, 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 a motif that it's easy to use and convenience. And for his Simple Series, it's edge below tab. So you can see the blade edge extends below the flipper tab extension. So when you're chopping or cutting, the flipper tab does not protrude into the anything and stop your hand from moving. And this is something that he uses in a, in a few of his designs right. with you Our guys, correct? Right, our there yeah. has the same That's design right. theme. Yeah, the one named after the sloth. That's, I remember <laughs> that one. <laughs> so, milled clip and a frame lock. And once I, once I close it, you can see the flipper tab actually extends straight up. Yeah. So this one opens very conveniently, but it's a different experience because when you close it and you open it, the flipper tab does not extend from the back, so you're, it's a very smooth curve right yeah. out here. <clears throat> the next one is a, uh, not exactly a new release because we released this knife in 2017, right. but we made some upgrades to it. When we released this knife in 2017, it had a handle insert of Macarta, but for 2018, we're upgrading this to carbon fiber. Awesome. <clears throat> so for all the Nick Swung fans out there, grab this guy. There you go. Yeah, and that's with this one, uh, with the carbon fiber, like switching from the micarta to the carbon, uh, it seems like it almost puts it in another bracket, right? That uh, it, making it a little more of uh, the right, gentleman's folder type thing, more right? More luxurious, even yeah. though, <coughs> excuse me, it yeah. still retains Nick's uh, full functionality and uh, for his, uh, from his LEO background. Exactly. Absolutely. Yep. yep. Next up is the Basalt from uh, one of my favorite designers, Azo. He's a Kaiser internal employee, so internal designer. Awesome. Rock solid handle with the uh, different grooves and also on the back to give it more friction. 
milled, uh, milled clips, and you can see also frame lock with the in reinforcement. Now, the Basalt has a super crisp, sharp opening. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Yeah, that like just flies open. That's awesome. And it has a deep gray handle, but with a blue backspacer for some contrast. Yeah, I like that a lot. With a nice linear hole right there. And this is something that I, that I find Kaiser does a lot is with these little, uh, little color touches, accents. Right. That, yeah, I just love it. Because we use a lot of titanium and we don't want to be super vibrant in the titanium because when you everyday carry, you kind of want to kind of fade into the ground, yep. uh, into the crowd a little bit. But then we don't want to be very boring. So we give you a little accent here and there, a little bit different. Totally, I like and it. And that actually is the theme we're also carrying into this new knife. Now this one didn't have a chance to make it into the catalog, the Domin. You can see it has a black G10 handle uh, and the VG10 blade for our Vanguard series. But we put a little orange highlighted backspacer here for you guys so that it will remain a little different from the crowd. But again, very easy one hand opening. Yeah. So you can take it with you anywhere. And that one also comes in, in uh, like an OD green version. OD green, with yes. With a black big With the black one. Yeah, awesome. Little contrast. Great. Now to transition into the fixed blade, I have here a little neck knife keychain knife, whatever have you. It's a multi-function knife. It's called a crackle tool. You have your hex drivers on the handle here. You have your can opener here. So that's something that you don't really see. Yeah, in, you don't see that very too much. often. Yeah. But when you need it, nothing else will replace it. I'll tell you what, being here, staying here in Vegas, we're just staying in a hotel room. I don't want to go out and eat on the strip every night. It's expensive. So I went to the grocery store, grabbed some stuff. I want to grab some cans of tuna. And I was like, I don't have a can opener with me. I'm not going to buy one. <laughs> So I ended up buying the two expensive bags of tuna, right? And so I, this is actually great. I, I Just this week, I found a use where I would have What's used that. What's that? You're, 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 you're Blade HQ. Yeah. You, you don't carry a seven inch fixed blade to pound yeah. into the can? I'd end up cutting myself. <laughs> there's a can opener, there's a bottle opener, and there's a little convenient little about one and a half inch, two inch blade for you to use. With a Kydex cheese, so you can carry it anywhere with you safely. Awesome. And this Kydex sheath to me, so I, uh, we recently did a video on neck knives where I was carrying a, uh, the thumper. Mm, the thumper. Yeah, and this sheath feels a, kind of similar with the way that it opens here yes. um, to allow you to get the knife in and out really exactly. easily. So, yeah, no, that's great. And then a couple of lashing points if you're going to connect right. to a keychain or a backpack. Or, or you know, a little backpack uh, strap right here. Yeah, right here on the front. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. All right, so let's go to the, the heavy duty ones. Yeah. Now, this is my favorite probably for 2018 is the iconic Dirk Pinkerton Lancer. A white short handle with a very wide canted blade give you a lot of penetration and cutting power, but super compact and easy to fit in the hand. Yeah. When you carry this in your appendix or deep carry and you sit down, because the handle is short, it will not poke you in the ribs, but it is still long enough to give you full grip for anything you might need it for. Yeah, for sure. And this is something that I really look for in a fixed blade is something that has a lot of grip to it. Um, and I love that it's got the jimping along the back right. of the spine there, the jimping up here. Yeah, that's great. And with that longer blade, it really does fit well on the hand though. Exactly. That's, that's, I really like that a lot. Yeah. I think it's a very good example of a, a small handle but with a full-size blade. Yeah. So you never sacrifice functionality, but you retain all the convenience. Yeah, it definitely is. It's that's a great example of that. So the Lancer. Next up, the Dirk Pinkerton Little River Bowie. It's a very classic rendition of the Bowie knife, and we're out here in the West. This is the knife to have. Yeah, it is. <laughs> For anything you might need to do, chopping, scraping, cutting, the Bowie knife does it all. And with a G10 handle, with an integral guard, your hand is never in any danger of slipping onto the blade. With a little jimping here at the butt and here at the spine, you retain full control. Very compact, very easy to carry. Little Bowie. Now next up are some of the camping knives we have. This one's from California Central Valley, Eric Garza. Uh, he was mentored by Matt Cucciara, one okay. of our favorite designers. Awesome. So he knows what he's doing and he does a great job using a contour handle. Uh, this is actually based on his personal carry knife when he camps in the Sequoia National Forest. That's why this knife is called a Sequoia. Awesome. So very ergonomic, very short, very compact, but you have a little a choke up toy right here yeah. for all the pre precision camping tasks. Yeah, that's something I really like. And again, a little bit of color accent, you know, right there. I think that's just great. 
and the 3D contour definitely give your hands something to grip onto. Yeah, exactly. For comfort. Yeah, that does feel really good. And I do like the choil if you're going in to do a little more detailed work. Exactly. Which, when you're camping, you never know. I mean, even if you're just whittling, even if you're just... Exactly. You know Getting the, I mean? the fire sticks going. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's, that's a great build. So next up, this one is your classic bushcraft knife. And this is from Ranger Knives, Justin Gingrich. Okay, yeah. So yeah, back to the basics, but never sacrificing the functionality. Again, a 3D contour handle, a straight up blade with a squared up spine. So if you want to strike fire, yep, just go ahead and do it with the linear. So you never, you always keep track, never lose it. And this one again is a, a somewhat of a compact handle. So when you carry your your camping equipment, you always want to go small and light. Yep. And this one gives you the functionality in a somewhat light package. Ranger knives, it's not going to be lightweight, right, yeah. but it's going to be <laughs> super heavy duty uh, in, in the correct sense. Right, right. So, Strong yeah. and can hold up to the task, exactly. but saving weight where it can. All the edges are beveled for comfort held. Yeah. But on the spine, again, is a straight edge. So go ahead and sh shave that spark you need. Yeah, I like that. Huh. And that's the bush, right? That's the bush. Awesome. So next up, and the lower, last fixed blade, it's a bear of knife. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bear of a knife. This one's not saving any weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, from Morgan, Morgan Cohen's in Canada, this is his design to be the all-in-one blade. Whether you're doing law enforcement, you're doing tactical work, or you're using a heavy-duty camping knife to go out there and conquer the wild, this is a knife for you. 1095, easy to maintain, easy to sharpen out there if you need to. Yep. Uh, T10 handle. And this knife, you know, holding your hand, and you, you see that this is the knife you can take on the world with. Yeah. That's a full size, full size handle, full size knife. Yeah, it feels great. You know what's surprising though? You know, I made the joke about weight, but it's actually surprisingly doesn't feel like it's it's very it's balanced. a brick. It's a it's very, very balanced. balanced knife. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. So all awesome. the knives will come with a Kydex cheese. Yeah. So this is our presentation for the first part of 2016, uh, 2018. 2018, sorry, 2018. Great. Now, a couple of these are uh, available for kind of pre-order and stuff. Any idea when all right. these will be kind of the out there? The Lancer will be available around uh, uh, February, March-ish. Okay. Uh, the Little Revolve about the same time. Uh, this one, I believe in April. Uh, this one should be available right around now, actually. Oh, awesome, okay, yeah. great. Uh, this one will be coming out a little bit later. Uh, Again, about April, yeah. May-ish. Yeah, these are all ballpark, guys. It's just, you know, so you can kind of get an idea when you might be able right. to find them. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of the camping knives right now is so cold. It, yeah. We bring it around the spring, summertime. So when you buy it, you can take it out to the wild right away, right away. and use it up. Awesome. I love that. Well, great. Um, so something we've been asking everybody at uh, SHOT Show this year is what do you got in your pocket? What I got in my pocket? I got a brute in my pocket. There we go. <laughs> the John Gray Pocket Brute. So. A, a really, I would say a classic John Gray design. Yeah, for sure. Muscle finance in a shapely package. Yeah. Uh, I, I love that the, when we describe it, we say it's a, it's a bodybuilder in a fine tuxedo. <laughs> it <laughs> looks it. great, but when you open it up, it's all business. Love it. And of course, the classic John Gray a pivot where you can use a quarter to adjust it. I actually didn't know that it was designed to be used as a quarter. Here, yeah, let's, let's tilt that up so they can see. So the pivot here, you guys might have known this. This is actually brand new to me, but yeah, you can actually use a quarter to be able to adjust it. Right. I love that because well, I find when I have to adjust my knife, I'm usually reaching for a coin in my pocket when <laughs> I don't because I don't always carry a tool on me. You know, well, I find it very interesting because I'm used to you know having a, a torque screw, or right. torque driver, yeah, exactly. or a Phillips or Phillips head or something. Yeah. But when we're licensed this design from John, he specifically requested that we must make it quarter adjustable. That's great. Oh, that's a great, great to have in your pocket. It is absolutely. It can go anywhere. <laughs> Even though you can't make a phone call anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but you can still adjust you your can knife. Adjust your knife. That's Absolutely. Important. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, uh, Kaiser has a lot of great stuff here for the first part of 2018. We also did a video with them on some really awesome pocket tools that they have out. So make sure to check that video out. Thanks, David, for having us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good and uh, that's all we have from Kaiser today, but that's not all Blade HQ has for you. Make sure to check out our 2018 SHOT Show playlist here on YouTube. Uh, you're bound to find something you're going to be excited for this coming year. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you very much.